We all love a bit of bowling, but what about bowling at the mall? Well, today I'm building a bowling alley in my Bloxburg Mall. Recommended by Sash's Glow. Thank you for the brilliant idea. To get your idea in a video, just subscribe and leave it in the comments. Also, I've just opened up memberships on my channel. So if you want extra videos, join link in description. Okie dokie. So I've got a little layout going on here for our bowling alley. It might look a little bit mismatched right now. But I'm talking restaurant, bar, bowling. We've got the whole shebang. First things first, we're going to do the flooring. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of stealing the old idea from the nail salon. I'm gonna have it beautifully striped like a giraffe. As you can see, if you're eagle-eyed, I've left this bit completely uncolored. And that's because this is where our actual bowling alleys are gonna be going. Personally, this beige color is giving me bowling. It just looks a little bit ugly. So I might make it hurricane instead. This here is gonna be like the back rooms of the bowling alley. You know where like no one goes. Chloe, don't go there. Anyway, guys, I want to start with the walls, mainly because I have such an epic idea you guys are gonna lose it and it actually involves a little bit of custom building so we're getting a little bit fancy here i'm probably gonna make a mistake I'm trying to make a little custom wall trip it's actually quite tricky but i'm pulling through guys i'm a survivor, I'm a survivor. So it's got a little chunk here, and this is kind of my inspo picture. As you can see, it's LED lights gone mental. <laughs> it's like a nightclub in here. So it's kind of just a cool bunch of V patterns, really. And it can just be as rogue and crazy as I want. As you guys know, I'm crazy, but, but I, am I am free. free. So it'd be a little bit lame if I left it all green, because not the green. I'm going to try and put it in like a rainbowy color, starting with purple. And if you guys want a little life hack to how to make the LED these brighter. Just lift up the colour. Jesus, look at that! I know that's kind of pink, but you know, just, just go with it. Which is gonna fade into green. So on and so forth all the way down the line. They look a little bit like lightsabers over here. I just think it's something a little different. Doesn't really look like the picture. So that's fine. I think that's nice. That's different. It is unusual, unusual actually. As for the rest, it can just be typical wood. Next up, we're gonna start with the bar. So you might think a bar, Reese's, that's a little random. Yes, it can appear random but lots of bowling alleys actually have bars and it's sort of for like the parents if you know what I mean. Please observe the building skills here. We've got like a curved one going on. Yes. Oh gosh. Harry Potter's in the building. Bloxburg has been very laggy lately. We'll admit. Why is this so wonky? I'm literally incapable of building. Do you know what? I've always wanted to add one of those like flaps which the waiters go through. I always want to use them in restaurants but then you probably get kicked out. Get out of my car. We'll have a nice combo of grey and hurricane. I'm liking this. The real way to make a bar come alive is with the stools. Now, I know we do have these new ones, but... What are those? No, I'm joking. They are actually quite cute. However, I want to go for a more modern, futuristic kind of style, which is more of this. And can everything stop disappearing? I'm telling you, Voldemort's here. <laughs> and just look at that already. Even with no colour, it kind of looks like a casino. You guys have actually been asking me to build casino. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. This bar is going to have two purposes. One is obviously going to be to sell food and drink. And the other one is going to be to sell those goofy... I just glitched. Those goofy bowling shoes. They always have them lined up along the back like trophies. And we only have two pairs of shoes. We either have flip-flops or slippers. And in my opinion, the slippers look more accurate. Seriously, bowling shoes. It just looks so funny. Oh yeah, this does actually look pretty good. And I find it a bit unhygienic actually this is gonna be where food served yet you have all these stinky shoes although they normally have like some sort of trash can where they throw all the stinky shoes in this is perfect this is kind of like a built-in one. Oh baby sometimes it's just perfect we even add a nice little sign you know which is like dirty shoes in here so people don't accidentally like throw rotting food in there the color scheme is obviously rainbow at this place we can kind of reflect that in the cashiers and I want the world-class chef working here. Mr. Gordon Ramsay. Look at him. He's stunning. He's so handsome, even when he's red. So he's going to be the star of our show working right here. And it's not going to be too much of an in-depth kitchen, if I'm going to be honest with you. We're just going to have a couple of these ingredient counters. It's just going to be your typical run-of-the-mill little restaurant. Personally, though, even as a kid, I never trusted the food at bowling alleys. It smelled 
dodgy. But not at Reese's Bowling Alley. No, 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 Gordon. Don't be giving me that look. This food is going to be fresh. Next up, I'm adding bottles of hot sauce, guys. This is definitely hot sauce that they're serving here. And finally, to set the mood, we're going to have some of these ambient lights. This really does look like a casino, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a sacrifice of Gordon Ramsay. Oh, this looks so lovely. It's like a commercial. I mean, it's not the best part of the building, but do you know what is? This part, this is going to be the best. Do you know they have like little railings either side? So, you know, the balls don't like fly into each other's lanes. And there is actually a way to put them down. My dad used to make us put them down. He was like, it's cheating. No, it ain't, dad. Some of us are bad. And immediately to spice this up a little bit, because it doesn't have much flavor at the moment. Where's the flavor? More LED lights. I'm telling you, bowling rings are like a magnet for LEDs. Oh, that is looking luscious. So it's time. We're adding in the holes where the bowling ball actually shoots through. And funny story, when I was younger, I actually tried to climb through one of these. Like, was I actually on a death mission? Like, I don't know what kind of stupid child I was. I didn't get far enough to work out what's behind here. It's still the biggest mystery. For the bowling pins, I'm pretty sure we don't have them. Might as well look. Nothing to do with bowling, apparently. So we're gonna have to use the good old beveled vertical cylinder and make them ourselves. Does that look realistic? That kind of looks like, what is that game on Bloxburg? Meep City, is it? It kind of looks like the people at Meep City. Oh my gosh, I feel like the 30,000 30, woman right now. $1,000? How is this tiny bowling pin so expensive? And look at my money. It's like sinking like the Titanic. Oh, there we go. That does look realistic though. Oh my gosh, hire me. <laughs> and I was wondering what to fill this space with above, but they normally just have artwork, which is actually pretty snazzy. But they actually normally have pretty like nice vintage artwork. We can have like maybe some black and white painting. Right now it's just this man looking very terrified. Oh my gosh, having that in the background has made the bar look even better itself. We established that bowling balls are not a thing. However, I reckon if we make this basketball like blue, it kind of resembles a bowling ball. And now, oh my gosh, okay, I'm actually rubbing my hands together in excitement. We've got to build one of my most favorite creations that has ever existed in life. That little dispenser, which dispenses out the balls. So it's like a square and it's kind of like a little bit of a stretched slender square. Although that's actually quite chunky. We're going to add an extra layer for that little bit of spice. I think I've just worked out the biggest mystery. When the bowling ball goes behind here, it sort of goes underneath the floor and then it comes back up and through the machine. Hey, the machine has a little bit like this going on. Oh my God. I'm so proud of my memories. And then the bowling ball will like shoot out of here, although <laughs> not too fast. It might like knock grandma out. And we obviously don't want it rolling off the sides either. Just pretend it doesn't say basketball league on there, okay? It's the bowling league, all right? The best thing about this is you can copy and paste it and it's not that expensive either. And I've kind of had like a little revelation of what we could put behind here. I don't know exactly what the system is, but this looks a bit like a carrier. It could have the balls and then when it resets, it could like go underground. Obviously that wouldn't actually happen because this is Bloxburg, not Minecraft. We don't have redstone. Imagine redstone in Bloxburg. That would actually be sick. Anyway, I've added some chairs here and we can remove this layer around them. This is obviously just where you'd sit while you're waiting for your game. And I don't know about you, I get a very, very hungry when I'm doing exercise. We're gonna add these vending machines and more artwork because I forget true Reese's, I'm Picasso so now. And also, forgot to mention at the start, this is the first build in the mall, which is not two stories high. But as you can see, I did extend it out. So it's about the same size. Practically heaven in a bowling alley, the amount of lights they have. I've got to say, I'm quite proud of this. I'm rather proud of that. <laughs> and guys, I have just had the coolest idea. I Siri, I don't have an answer for you. Do not interrupt me again. You know how we're going to put a restaurant seating here? We already have Mackey's across the road. I'm going to turn this into lace. Laser Quest. I don't know if you have this in every country, but in England we have something called Laser Quest and it's like an adventure course. So obviously this is going to be like a miniature version of that. Every time I play this as a kid, I'll literally lose every round. But we're not going to talk about that, okay guys? This is going to seem so random if you guys don't know what Laser Quest is. But you basically have like little fortresses. So for the fortress, I'm going to use the Bouncy Castle. And what are these colours by the way? Let's get some pastels in here. And I'm going to be King of the
the castle, guys. To make the lasers, we're going to use LEDs. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I feel like we're in some sort of like FBI mission right now. And you basically, if you touch the lasers, obviously they're not real because they, they get sued. It's literally lights, but they like detect you or something. We'll have a couple of bushes to like hide behind over here. I hope you guys think this idea is cool. It's just a little twist on the bowling alley. And I didn't want to build another restaurant because I've built so many lately. Not another one? <laughs> So that might have been a bit crazy. And last but not least in here, we'll have like a little pillar, although it's more of just a centerpiece. And I've just thought maybe in America, this might be called laser tag. And also, if you just saw this from the outside of the mall, you would be like, what is going on in there? Anyway, back to the main alley. Oh my God, is there a pump? That is so cool. Although we're about to cover that up. Again, with the ombre patterns, my middle name is literally ombre. Ah! Just exposed my calendar, guys. Look at my busy life. Film Sunday's video. I'm doing that right now. Anyways, I'm also going to add a coat rack because it gets, it might get quite steamy. Bloxburg does need to add coats because I'm sick of using these ghost looking towels as coats. And yes, I did just steal these chairs from the salon and these plants as well. Jeez, the salon has some good buys. We've just got to sneak a bit more lighting under the floor. Also, I do have an underground car park. You guys have been saying build one, but I actually built it off camera like a superstar last but not least we need to add the little restaurant in. this is literally like the chuck e cheeses of restaurant and speaking of chuck e cheeses we've got their competition over here i was gonna steal their table but i don't feel like spending thirty thousand. i think i actually built that mcdonald's before this glorious update came out place a little bit of mustard but i forgot one more room down here it's got to be the toilet and oh no design failure i was about to add these basic towels like you're basic they added paper towels. We've got hand dryers. Let's give them options, guys. Last little job we have to do is the exterior. I think that is the bowling alley and episode four done. Chickens, here we are outside of action, sport, and 10 pin bowling, which is kind of perfect because we've obviously not just got the bowling. We also have the laser tag. From the outside, it is... It is this is a lovely chair, okay? Everybody wants the view of the toilet when they're eating. May or may not have forgot to change these decals. There we go. That is great advertising for us. And these plants, look at them. Beautiful. But the main magic's inside. I feel like using the toilet first. And the blinds are closed now, don't worry. But it's perfect because if you lose your game, you can come in here. You can have a little cry. I know I'm good enough, okay? Anyways. Opposite, we have the restaurant slash laser tag. We've got these really cool looking doors and oh, we've got to be careful guys we can't touch it but yeah this is honestly such a cool little game i mean it's more for the aesthetic purposes and decoration like i feel like it wouldn't really work this is where you can purchase your bowling shoes as you can see we've got plenty speaking of bowling this is what a bowling alley is all about look at those decals look at these bowling pins and let's see if we can do it okay okay you ready go oh how cool would it be if they all knocked over but honestly we've got to admire every everything here from the machinery to the walls even to these basic chairs i think i made everything pretty perfect and i'm very proud of this build i do hope you guys enjoyed watching this part of the mall series if you did like it make sure to subscribe and i'll see you all next time